What's going on everybody? Max Ralph from Penn Live here coming at you with the mini breakdown. That's what I have decided. I'm going to call these short length videos as our full length podcast is called the Blue White Breakdown. This is the mini breakdown. Tonight, not a lot to really go over in the mini breakdown. I mean, Bowling Green's coming into town. A little bit of weather in the forecast, but not expecting Penn State to struggle at all with this MAC opponent. Uh, the big news, James Franklin said they are optimistic that redshirt junior tight end Khalil Dinkins can play this week. He missed pretty much all the camp with an undisclosed injury, but he's dynamic. He's a playmaker, probably their number two tight end when he's healthy. Uh, but, you know, there's some concern about how much or uh, how impactful he would be playing this weekend because of all the time he's missed. Of course, they do want him back because that could mean they can preserve the red shirt or at least preserve a couple more games that freshman tight end Luke Reynolds has to play. And other than that, uh, wide receiver Caden Saunders was going through drills. That's an increase from last week. We didn't see him go through drills. He ended up being cleared for the game at West Virginia, but only returned punts, not as a receiver. They're hopeful he can play as a receiver this weekend. couple more things on PennLive.com. Uh, go check out my story there from practice tonight. But those were the big ones. Uh, Max Ralph, Penn Live. Uh, we'll see you for the next mini breakdown, probably next Wednesday. Peace.